Hello friends, this video on alcohol, phenols and ethers part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now I will study the common myopathy of phenols. So the simplest hydroxy groups when you derive from a benzene is phenol. So you have to take a benzene, you remove one H, with the OH you get phenol. And please note this is the common name, this is the IUPAC name. Both for this compound, the common name and IUPAC name is phenol. But phenol as such, you can have other substituents attached also. Those are also phenols. But the common name and IUPAC name, if you talk about for a compound, this com is the compound whose common name and IUPAC name both are phenols. But as such, we'll show you these are also phenols. They are all phenols, but different types of phenols, right? Maybe this is these are all methyl phenols. When you add ortho para and meta position, they are different kind of phenols. I'll show you the example. This is one position because the primary one. This is second. So this is at second I have methyl group. So it is two methyl phenol. This is one, this is two, and this is three. At three I have a methyl group, so it is three methyl phenol. Similarly here, one, two, three, four, it is four methyl phenol. Correct. So they are all phenols, but if you talk about only phenol, this is phenol. For this, the common name is phenol. IUPAC name is also phenol. Very, very interesting compound. Correct. And for this, we have also got some common name. So I'll write common name here. So for this, the common name is orthocresol. This is at the meta position. So it is metacresol. And para position, because both are almost anti, so it is para -cresol. Ortho, meta, and para position we have discussed again. This is the uh, previous chapter. So if you have doubts, please watch my previous chapter videos where we explain the ortho, meta, and para positions. We'll take some more examples. So this guy, if you see, this is benzene. Diols actually, they are all benzene diols, and let's number this. This is if I give number one, this is number two. So it will be benzene one to diol. Let's give this number here one, two, three. So it will be benzene one, three diol. Similarly, here if you give the number one, two, three, four, it will be benzene. 1, 4, diol. All these are IUPAC names. If you want the common names of this, so this is called catechol. This is called resorcinol. There is no reason why it is called. It is just called resorcinol and C like the R E S O R C I yeah C I N L and this is called hydroquinone or it is also called quinol these are my common names of these compounds let's see ethers now as I told it is all R O R dash kind of thing where this R dash can be a alkyl or aryl. Right? So, in this case, let's uh, give some time here because this is something which we have not learned in the hydrocarbon chapter that deeply. So, here it is derived from the name of these are derived from the parent hydrocarbon. So, we have to first find the parent hydrocarbon. Right? And we have to add this ether at the end. And if both the allyl group, alkyl group, or the aryl group are same, we'll use the word called di. For example, in this case, they all ethyl groups, right? So we'll say diethyl ether. Dies because there are two 
both are same so it's ethyl i will add this word ether at the end so diethyl ether and please note here also will for the alphabetical order for writing this for example methyl ethyl so first we'll write ethyl and then write methyl correct so that ethyl that alphabetical order has to be followed and then this ether word has to be appended in the last and if both are same we'll use the word di correct we'll take some examples to explain our concept and we have to find the parent hydrocarbon that is i told you the one with the largest number of carbon is the parent for example i have two here for example i have c2h5 o ch3 so in this case this is my parent it has more carbon so if I have C2H5, O is a phenyl group, right? It has six carbon, there's two carbon, this is my parent carbon. So you have to first pick the parent one and then the child one. We'll take some examples. For example, this is CS3, O CS3, both are same. So it will be di, and since it's CS3, CS3 is methyl, right? So it will be dimethyl ether. And that is my common name. Please note that is my common name. If I write, if I want to write the IUPAC name, I have to take one as the parent. In, in this case, both are same, so I can take any of these. So it will be uh, one position, only one. So at one position, I have methoxy group. This is, this group is methoxy group now. Let methoxy. This is methane, methoxy methane. And this is my IUPAC name. Please note. This concept which I have told you here, this is for common name. So here luckily for common name also we have some formula. Correct. We'll take one more example. So here if you see both are same here. You can take any of these as a parent one. So we want to write the common name. Both are same, so I'll use this word di and both are methyl, right? Sorry, ethyl. Two carbon. It'll be di ethyl ether that will be my common name if you want to write the IOPC name so again this will be the there are two carbons here I can just name it one two like that or let me first draw the structure of these at least this is my primary I'm assuming I can assume any of this is primary because both are same carbon one carbon two so at one position I have this whole big thing that is nothing but epoxy Right, this whole thing is ethoxy. So the, the IUPAC name will be ethoxy, and this thing is ethane. So it will be ethoxy ethane. We'll take more examples for this ether so that you get command on it. So we'll take some example. This is CS3O, CS2, CS2, CS3. So here let's first write IUPAC name. So which one is the parent carbon? This is the parent one because it has a more number of carbons in it. So it is one, it is two, it is three. So at one, I have a methoxy group attached. So I'll have one methoxy, right? And then with it probe, all single bond, in. It's one methoxy propane. This will be my IUPAC. Let's suppose I write the common name. So for common name, if you see, I have two things here. One is my methyl, and then I have propyl. So out of methyl and propyl, which ones come first? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. M comes first. So I'll write here methyl, and this is since it is a straight propyl, so methyl and propyl so propyl ether and this is the common name this is done correct so let's take one example here this is my benzene ring this is my primary one why because it is uh, has more carbons so let's write the IUPC name first again so in this case at one position of the benzene ring if you see this is how it is 
position one, position two, three, four like that. So at position one I have what here? Sorry, yeah. Methoxy, right? This is methoxy here. So at position one I have this this whole thing is methoxy, right? OCS3. So it is nothing but one methoxy benzene, or you can just say methoxy benzene. It is methoxy benzene, and that is my IUPAC name. Correct. Common name. So I have a here methyl and phenyl, right? So here methyl and phenyl. So let's see. Let me give this area for rock. Methyl and phenyl. Correct. Methyl and phenyl. A B C D E F G H I J K L M M comes first, so it will be methyl, phenyl, ether, and this is the common name. It is also called anisole. Please note this is also called anisole. Remember this is also a very important compound. It's called anisole. Now again I have a benzene ring, but in this case. Ethyl group is attached instead of methyl group. This is again a benzene ring. So where I have ethyl group attached. Okay, this is my primary here. So let's start with the IUPAC name. So I have a ethoxy group in the benzene. So it is ethoxy benzene. Pretty simple. Ethoxy benzene is the IUPAC name. And this is let's write the common name. So I have ethyl and phenyl group. So let me write here. I have ethyl and phenyl. A B C D E. E comes first. So ethyl comes first. So it will be ethyl phenyl ether. Ethyl. This so I have over here. Ethyl phenyl ether. Correct. It is also called. Fenny told. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.